Okay, guys. So, we're back and we're better. I'm kidding. Here. Okay, enough of that. Shenanigans. So, we're going to be talking about food labels. welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be talking about food as you can see food right so bienvenidos a mi canal si eres nuevo mi nombre es Mari if you're new to my channel my name is Mary and sorry if I'm talking English and Spanish don't mind it but if you don't want to see that then exit out so like I said my name is Mary if you're new here and if you're not new here welcome back to my channel and if you want to see more then let's get into the video right so before we get into the video les tengo un video de comida de comida 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 si quieren saber más este video va a ser bilingüe español y en inglés porque hay unas cosas que tengo que decir en español y otras en inglés so si son bilingües como yo, entonces sigan viendo y si no, pues salganse y vaya a ver otro video que es de puro inglés o de puro español. Ok, guys, so also don't forget to follow me on my social media, which is Instagram, all right? Here, I'll leave it right here. Don't forget to follow me. Si no me estás siguiendo ahorita, si no me sigues en Instagram, aquí les dejo la foto y el, el nombre para que me sigan en Instagram, ¿ok? Ok, so let's get started. Y vamos a seguir con el video. Ok, guys. So, we're back and we're better. I'm kidding. Ok, guys. So, let's get started. Oh, and sorry if you hear like otro chinido. It's the, it's the sofa chair. See? Okay, enough of that. Shenanigans. So, we're going to be talking about food labels. Vamos a estar hablando de etiquetas de alimentación. So, let's get into it. Hay que hablar más de eso. Van a ver unas cosas que voy a decir en español, but I'm mostly going to talk in English. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What I really want to talk about is how you read a food label. I don't know if it's just well, my example I live in a Mexican household so I don't know if it's just us or every other Mexican family or whatever right I don't know if it's if it's only us or other families but yeah mostly all Mexicans like we all eat the famous seasoning called noodle or whatever but it's a Mexican chicken seasoning this is the one we use now the reason why we stopped using that seasoning because it had some ingredients just wanted to do this informative video because there's a lot of us well coming from my perspective we don't really care about food labels we don't look into that but now that i'm getting into that like i'm going towards the way of nutrition and stuff like not for just my health for the health of others around me i let them know and if you're watching this, you know I tell you. Especially if you drink Coke. You know who you are. Anyways, um, yeah. These are the ingredients that this chicken thing, noodle, whatever they call it, has. So right from the back, you can see. I'll insert a picture. And the second ingredient will be what? monosodium glutamate you're like what the heck is that like what is that right in espanol se dice glutamato monosodio monosodico si no digo algo bien y si no lo pronuncio bien discúlpeme okay este es un químico well, this is this ingredient is a chemical and it's not good 
for you to be consuming. Why? Well, I could do another video on that separate, but I'll just give you a little depth into that. Why? Well, because it's a like a flavor enhancer. It's a chemical. It's mostly added to food that is um, Chinese food, basically to give it more of like, oh, I want more, I want more. And that ingredient, mono, well, it's called MSG instead of saying the whole thing, monosodium glut glutamate. Uh, that ingredient comes in a lot of foods, like junk foods but mainly in that chicken flavor and it's not good for us to consume why because it's an additive it's been used for decades and now it comes only in that um type of seasoning but in other seasonings and it comes in like i said chinese food they consume it all if you go to like a restaurant why that's why panda express is so good you know why because it has that ingredient well, that chemical and it comes in canned vegetables and soups and and even processed meats so you have to be careful and what you consume on a daily basis and look at the nutrition labels which i did not used to do that but now i'm starting this to do that ingredient causes well there's people that are very uh, sensitive to it because i would well i still but go to people's houses and cook for them and boy do you use monosodium msg i'm like what the heck is that like what is that what is msg oh monosodium glutamate right and i'm like yeah use it in this this and that oh okay don't use that in our cooking because we are allergic to it like we can't have that we are sensitive to it and so that's when i started changing up my things anyways so the causes of MSG are headaches, flushing, sweating, which happens a lot, facial pressure or tightness, numbness and tingling, chest pain, nausea, and weakness, and it can also cause asthma and other stuff. So the FDA, which is the Food and the Drug Administration, uses or classifies MSG as a food ingredient that is recognized as safe it's safe but it's not safe because it has all these other things reactions that give your body and well if you eat junk food your body's gonna feel like shit obviously yeah it's just not gonna feel good basically and it's required they are required for the food labels to have msg on it it's not going to say MSG, it's going to say monosodium glutamate. And in Mexican cooking, I, don't, I think it should say este glutamato monosodico. No no más este, no lo tiene eso. También otros saborizantes para caldos, para arroz, para lo que quieras. No me le pones chicken seasoning. Porque mi suegra me enseñó uno y era uno con un pollito, pero es diferente a él. A este que les enseñé. Bueno, nomás te fijas en el ingrediente. Te vas a las nutriciones. A la etiqueta de nutrición. Nutricional. Te fijas ingredientes. Aquí abajo. Aquí abajo te fijas. Y si dice monosodio glutamate. O en inglés si dice monosodium glutamate. Entonces significa que no es bueno. Porque causa otras cosas en tu organismo y hay otras opciones que tú puedes usar para hacer tu arroz tu sopa de pollo o lo que lo uses se da para o tus salsas nosotros no lo usamos en salsa las salsas las hacemos de puro de lo que es si no andamos agregando otras cosas este este es lo que causa ese químico msg que contiene muchos sabores de comida que son como sazones, ¿verdad? Ya les había dicho. Las etiquetas están destinadas a aliviar las preocupaciones de los consumidores. Porque el MSG como potenciador del sabor se ha relacionado por, pul por pura la mente durante décadas con varios problemas de salud. Como dolores de cabeza, como les había dicho, pero en inglés. 
y reacciones alérgicas incluso se ha considerado un factor obesidad infantil. Así que este químico es bien malo. Si lo encuentran en los alimentos yo recomiendo que no lo consuman o que lo consuman de vez en cuando pero no frecuentemente como hacemos ahorita en esos en esos este seasonings que consumimos de pollo, ¿verdad? Bueno, ya hablando de eso, les voy a decir lo que lo cómo lo pueden substituir el noro es con este que usamos nosotros se llama chicken stock, que es caldo de pollo que este lo pueden usar con su arroz, cuando hacen arroz les puedo hacer un video de eso también o albóndigas, pero usualmente no le echamos las albóndigas y para sopitas de pollo o, o fideos esos, ajá, esos y este, el ingrediente de este chicken stock son organic chicken stock que es orgánico caldo de pollo con vegetales orgánicos, con zanahoria, celery y jugo de cebolla y sal de mar, natural roasted flavor, or, porque lo están como rostizados. También ustedes lo pueden hacer, les puedo enseñar cómo. Si no lo quieren comprar, lo pueden hacer con vegetales, ese es el chicken stock. Y tiene turmeric concentrado y hojas de albahaca, bay leaves, creo que son albahaca. No, no, no son, sorry. Um, organic black pepper extract. Y aquí las etiquetas nutricionales te dice las calorías, si tiene este gordo colesterol, sodio, total de carbohidratos, 0, 0, 0, 0, dietary fiber, 0, total de azúcar, 0, proteína, 2 gramos, y es todo, miren, no sé si se enfoca, pero aquí está, y todo esto es bueno, y se lo recomiendo, si lo quieren usar, lo quieren comprar, no tiene que ser de esta marca, pero que esté así de similar de ingredientes y que diga chicken stock o chicken broth. Esos son los que les recomiendo en vez de ese mentado honor o sabor de pollo que usan en las comidas mexicanas o también otras culturas, ¿verdad? Bueno, este era lo importante que les quería hablar. Ah, que les quería hablar. Okay, so, this soup has MSG as well and other flavors that are not that good. Right here in the back. Right here. Not that good. But they've, they've upped their game. They've been better because my favorite. I don't have them that often, but yeah. Um, this is my favorite one. They have up their game. It doesn't have many ingredients. Well, it does, but it doesn't have that MSG flavoring. It doesn't have it. So, it's good. Give it a check. Si tienen cinco ingredientes, significa que es mejor y bueno dependiendo de lo que sea. Como esto. Que es arroz romen. No sé si a ustedes les gusta el romen como yo. A mí me encanta, me encanta. Aquí tenemos este que es organic millet and brown rice. Este es el ramen que me gusta. Y aquí están los ingredientes nutricionales. Aquí está la etiqueta nutricional. Y es muy bueno porque... Les digo por qué. Porque está hecho de orgánico brown rice flour, que es arroz café de harina. Organic millet, que no sé qué es millet, pero ustedes los pueden googlear, ¿verdad? No me voy a quedar aquí ya tanto porque ya llevo más de 12 minutos hablando. Ok. Y aquí en las etiquetas nutricional se pueden fijar que la serving size es 
130 calorías Calorías de gordo 10 Y aquí tiene para servings de Tiene 12 paquetitos Tiene 24 servings Una serving es total de gramos de gordo 1.5 gramos, disculpen si escuchan mi parrita acá atrás pero está jugando Colesterol 0 Sodio, cero. Sodio es sal, ¿ok? Si no sabían. Potasio, 170 gramos, miligramos de potasio, 5%. Total de carbohidratos, pues obviamente va a tener carbohidratos porque es hecho de arroz, 24 gramos. Fibra, 2 gramos. Azúcar, cero. Proteína, 4 gramos de proteína. Porque si no, no tiene proteína. Y le recomiendo esto que lo prueben, ¿ok? Si para dejar la sopa guabonas les recomiendo este porque esto es más bueno que las sopas guabonas. Así en sí en sí, porque las sopas guabonas no son saludables. Es mejor que las consuman una vez en cuando, pero no se las recomiendo todas las veces. Okay. Disculpan, voy a hablar en inglés. Les estoy informando cómo leer sus etiquetas nutricionales porque muchos de nosotros no sabemos cómo especialmente en la cultura mexicana. This is not a healthy peanut butter. Este no es saludable. Les digo por qué. Aquí están las nutriciones. La etiqueta nutricional. A comparación a esta. Que es buena. Ok. Les comparo los ingredientes. Del bueno al malo. El bueno dice Dry Roasted Organic Peanuts. ¿Escucharon? Dry Roasted Organic Peanuts. Just one ingredient. Solo un ingrediente. Este. Dry Roasted Peanuts. Powder Sugar. Hydrogenated Vegetable Oil. Rape Seed. Cotton Seed. Soybean. Salt. ¿Cuál tiene más? Es, I mean, ¿Cuál tiene más? Este y este tiene menos. This one has less ingredients. This one has more. And it has not the good ingredients. Because it has hydrogenated vegetable oil. You don't want that in your food. ¿Ok? Ok. ¿Entendimos? Claro. Ok, claro. So, por eso les recomiendo que usen cacahuate. Bueno, si no les gusta cacahuate y son alérgicos, entonces almendras o otras cosas, pero... Ahí me dejan saber y yo les puedo decir, ¿ok? Este lo recomiendo porque está hecho de puro cacahuate. Este se lo recomiendo si no tienes otra cosa que comer y... Y es todo lo que puedes comprar. Pero este no está tan caro a este. Bueno, ok, anyways. Y luego se pueden ir a los gramos de servings. Es igual a los servings. Son igual. 2 tablespoons, 32 gramos. 2 tablespoons, 32 gramos. 190 calories. Miren. Son igual. Aquí. 190 calories. For 2 tablespoons. So, son iguales, pero los ingredientes son diferentes. Pero ya depende de usted si los consumen. It depends if you guys. Which ones you guys are going to consume. It's up to you. I'm just letting you know. To be informed and to know what you're consuming into your body if you care. If you don't care, well then. Don't wash this. Okay? Okay. Pasta. Everybody likes pasta. Spaghetti. If you drink, if you drink. If you consume this one, it's not that good. But if you have no other option, then go for it, I guess. But this one is not that expensive. So it's up to you. I'm just telling you about the different ingredients, okay? This one, ingredients, nutrition facts, right here. Tomato puree, water, tomato paste, all right. Diced tomatoes, okay. And tomato juice, okay. Canola oil, not okay. Contains less than 1% of salt. Um, okay. Dehydrated onions, not that good. Dehydrated garlic, not that good. Dehydrated parsley, not that good. So that's why you shouldn't consume this one. 
again you don't have to look at the brand but just look at the ingredients of the foods you consume right here the ingredients and that will be good to go that's all you basically need to check the make sure it doesn't have like that much sugar or salt or stuff like that yeah basically those are the three main things not a lot of sugar not a lot of salt okay that's good protein eh, could be whatever so these are the nutritional facts right here And these are the ingredients right here. Estos son los ingredientes: tomates, aceite de oliva, cebolla, sal, ajo, albahaca, pimienta y orégano. These are the ingredients: tomatoes, olive oil, onion, salt, garlic, basil, black pepper, and oregano. Ingredients. You could consume these. Again, they don't have to be sea salt. I mean, this brand from Whole Foods. They don't have to be this brand. It could be the one from Costco, not even from Costco, but they carry them in big bulk bags. I can't think of it right now, but yeah, you could buy that one. <laughs> There's a sea salt famous chips. There are the kettle brand, these. Target has um you can buy them anywhere. But these are good too. If you want to snack on chips, you could do that. So I recommend these chips. These are good. They don't have that much bad stuff compared to those Fritos, Metitos. Yeah. So these ingredients for these chips, the ones that I told you guys kettle, they're right here. Ingredients right here at the top. Nutritional facts. Again, not for the whole bag. <laughs> That's what I used to think. Oh, 100 and something calories. Oh, for the whole thing? Okay, might as well. I'll eat it. But no, it's not for the whole thing. As I started learning more about nutrition, it's not about the whole thing. So the ingredients for the kettle one, it only has potatoes. That's fine. It's made out of potatoes, right? Safflower and sunflower. Oil, canola oil, sea salt. Again, it's not that bad compared to these. And again, I wouldn't use sunflower stuff sunflower oil or canola oil it's not good for you but have a chip once in a while right who said you can't but i really don't recommend these it's a no 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 all those kind of brand what brand is this the frito-lay brand right there i don't recommend that brand if you're gonna have them once in a while dude oh my god mexican chips are so good because my sister from mexico she sent me some they're so good. It's nothing compared to here. Anyways, yeah, these chips. These nutritional facts right here. Right here, ingredients right here. Okay, como les decía, si tienen hijos, no consuman esto porque tiene el ingrediente malo que es MSG, okay? Okay, si quieren ver los ingredientes, aquí está. Vean los si tienen chips en la casa. Ahí vean, pero no lo recomiendo. Les recomiendo como de estos chips que no tengan tantos ingredientes como este tiene organic potatoes sunflower press soft flour seed and canola oil and sea salt no están tan malos están buenos preferidos a estos estos no se los recomiendo estos si sí se los recomiendo o como les decía en inglés la marca caro que son estos chips estos Que son buenos también. Okay, Mexican chips. Other Mexican chips. These are my favorite. Now these, you wouldn't have often, like, these you could have probably like three times a week or so. But if you're on a diet or some other stuff, losing weight, don't have it as often. Estos no están muy mal. Aquí están the nutrition facts right here. The ingredients right here in tiny little writing and has the rich and flour the only ingredient you want to look for is msg and chips that's the only ingredient besides sunflower and vegetable oil it's all right but i want to have it regular or often maybe like on your cheat days or whenever it's your cheat day or cheat meal or whatever 
sí, agarré unos dos. Pero lo que dice aquí, pues no toda la bolsota. Sino toda la bolsota es. Dice one ounce. Toda la bolsota son 280 calorías. No, hombre. Esto se lo recomiendo. O si no, this shit, they also recommend. It's not that bad. Sí, señor. Yo, Yo soy de rancho. rancho. Soy de botas y a caballo. Anyways, right here. Nutrition facts right here. You can read all this. Again, for chips, you don't really need to be careful because it's chips. Chips are not healthy anyway, so... Unless you make your own out of your house with potatoes and yeah, in the oven, which I've done. Okay, you go for these. I don't recommend chips, but these are your options. Let's do energy drinks. Again, I don't have the energy drinks from outside like Rockstar or Red Bull or that stuff. But those are not good for you. I could do a demonstration if you want to, but they're not good for you. They're not good for you. They have a lot of sugar. And that's where you get the energy. And that's where you're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And then you're like, oh, hello, crushed. Well, that's why. Okay. These are my typical go-to flavors. These I recommend. If you want to go for the other flavors, fine by you. But do your investigation. The Marindo is my hubby's favorite. Mine is this one, mostly. Okay. One Just thing this. about energy drinks. Do they have vitamins? Do they have additives? Do they have natural flavors? Do they have sugar? That's one thing you want to check out in a energy drink. What, what do they have? What does it contain? Not just about energy drinks, but about food as well because you're consuming it into your own body. Like, why do you want a lot of sugar and just have it stored as fat later, right? It just depends up to you what you want to do with your body. I mean, if you want to drink Coke, if you want to eat chips, fine by me. If you're happy, okay, go for it, but... In my perspective, on the people I love, like my mom, my dad, my brother, no, we eliminate all that and yeah. And yeah, this energy drink has no sugar. It just has sugar from the app, from the apples, from the fruit. Here are the nutrition facts. Again, the nutrition label, you want to check if it has a lot of sugar mainly if you don't want to gain weight or if you want to gain weight then i guess but yeah mainly for that well from my perspective it's mainly a check for sugar which is not that healthy for you or salt or their ingredients right here which caramel coloring our famous coke that has caramel coloring which is not good for you not good no bueno so take it off your list stop drinking coke please just stop okay anyways the ingredients carbonated water pear juice concentrated again taurin taurin i don't know how to pronounce it taurina in spanish glutamate citric acid well it has zero caffeine it's a drink that has mango pineapple and guava it's really good i've tried it no added sugar, but the sugar comes from 25% fruit, 200% vitamin C, and vitamin B. Okay, and the ingredients, absorbic acid, which is vitamin C. That's fine. Malicid acid, mango juice, concentrated pineapple juice, guava, puree, potassium, sorbet, preservative. Again, that's fine. Uh, so, asulfame, potassium, sucralose. You said no sugar, right? Sucralose is a sugar. I'm sorry to be exposing you, but it's a sugar. But I'm not going to get into that. Natural flavors. Again, natural flavor. Uh, this word I can't pronounce. Nasiamid, calcium, pedrofolic, cyanobon. Again, it's not that bad. 40 grams of... 40 grams. 40 calories. Not bad. Again, it says 25% sugar. But then again, you want to make sure where does the sugar come from? Hint, look at the ingredients right here. 
it says sucralose. So if it focuses, what did he say? Okay, sucralose, sucralose. That's the sugar, my people. So, so be careful because sugar comes hidden in a lot of many different ways. It's not bad. It's all right. It's good. I'll eat though. I'll drink this if I don't want to have the ones that have energy. Okay, sugar, seven grams, not bad. It's all right because it comes from the fruit. Now it has just vitamins, all the vitamins it has, niacin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and vitamin C, which is good because it comes from the mango and pineapple and guava. So this is good. But check this. So this is the only flavor I'm going to talk to you about, which I already did. The other flavors are similar ingredients, so I'm not going to touch base on that. But um, I'll just list the flavors below, the ones I consume. Or if you want to know more, you could send me a message on Instagram. No les voy a hablar mucho de los sabores de exceso, nomás los que yo tomo y lo que yo les recomiendo. Este, nomás hable de este puro sabor. Así, si quieren saber más, dejen sus comentarios abajo o mándenme un mensaje por Instagram. Oils. And then we'll go to the seasonings. So, for cooking, there's olive oil, but it's not really for high heat. It's for low heat. So, I recommend you use that for low heat stuff. So, I recommend you use olive oil for low heat, not too much of high heat. If you're going to saute, that's fine. But also, if you're going to saute, like, ya para quemar, it's not that good. It's not good. The oil I recommend for high heat is... <laughs> the oil I recommend for high heat is avocado oil. This one. It doesn't have to be this brand, but it has to be avocado oil. Avocado oil. Because olive oil is more for less heat, not too much high heat Fahrenheit. It could work for um, dressings. It's a good thing for that. You could use that for dressings. If you don't know how to do dressings, comment down below and I can do some for you. If you want to see how I do my own. How I learned. I'm kidding. Anyways. Yeah, so it says here. Hello, thank you for marketing Marina's Harvest. Marie, Marines, Marie, Mariana's Harvest brand 100% avocado oil, part of your everyday cooking. Our family pretty owned company pride itself on creating an authentic avocado oil that is perfect for just like just say <laughs> marinades, grilling, baking, and has a 500 Fahrenheit smoking point. For the best sauteing, so for high heat, avocado oil. If you want to, actually, let me check if it's close. If you want to check the ingredients, here they are. Oh, ingredients right here, sorry. Avocado oil. This is a nutritional label. Okay, so como les decía en inglés, Le recomiendo que usen aceite de aguacate para cocinar comidas grasas como no sé si fríen la sopa de de fideo o su arroz y lo fríen, pero a freír que diga, si lo ponen a freír usen aceite de aguacate, no usen aceite de canola o, o cuál es el otro canola oil o sunflower oil, esos no son tan buenos, usen este. Y no usen aceite de oliva porque el aceite de oliva no es para concentraciones de temperatura alta. Son bajas, por eso aceite de oliva se usa más en ensaladas. Este también lo puedes usar en ensaladas si te gusta aderezos, como se llaman en español, dressings. Si te gusta eso, haz tu propia ensalada. Aderezos con este o aceite de aguacate. Bueno, esto es aguate de oliva. Ok, ok. Y aquí dice 
siempre tienes que fijarte en los ingredientes que diga 100% aguacate de aceite o aguacate de aceite o aguacate de oliva que nosotros no tenemos porque casi no consumimos van a cocinar no les recomiendo que usen otros aceites mejor usen aceite de aguacate es más saludable para su cuerpo y es mejor porque si sabían el aceite ya cuando se quema se vuelve en carcino carcinogen un carcinago que no es bueno para el cuerpo y así se convierte en la soda uh. ok ok I don't know if it's just us Mexicans but in my household it was you would consume the Larry's exposing brands <laughs> like this this brand that brand for like your carnes asadas your pollo that's not good this brand is it good oh see my mom in here we don't use this she i told her throw everything away throw everything away because it's all bad but she didn't throw this bottle away because right here she has comino and like white rice comino Oof, it's so bad. A little bit of salt. Mm, so good. And a little bit of avocado. Oof. Okay, so right here, see? She even put the label in. Comino. Ground. Cumin. Sir. Sir. Hey. No getting feisty. No playing. Stop. See, right there it says ground cumin. I dropped it. Okay, anyways, yeah, this is that. And this brand is not that good because why would you add garlic salt? Like, why? Just use garlic and then add salt. Like, why buy one of these? Like, it's not that good. Again, it has sea salt, garlic, modified cornstarch. It's not good for your body. Sugar, parsley, natural flavors. Again, natural flavors. Extractives of carrots for color. Not good, not good. Okay, not good. They recommend this. But my mom has comino in here, so I recommend you comino. Place your seasonings with these types of seasonings. This is a good seasoning. This one has mejorana, fine, rosemary, savor, sage, oregano, and basil. This is just natural um seasoning. You could use this. I mainly use it for my chicken, my um ground turkey. I use this, but right now I'm just talking about um, natural seasonings that are good for you to consume with none of the additives or any of that stuff, okay? So, les voy a decir los que tienen que consumir, no consuman esta marca Ladies. Otra vez, Ay. low focus. Fíjense en los ingredientes que no digan otras cosas, que no más diga como aquí dice ingredientes, mejor también romero, sabri, sage, orégano y basil, que es albacar. So, que estén así los ingredientes. Los sazones de flavor card o que busquen sazones que sean así. Así. Y el pimentón. Así. Ok. Porque eso es mejor para su salud. Y si les interesa su salud, pues lo harán. ¿Verdad? Que diga así. Aquí arriba son los ingredientes. Que sean así. Que no digan otras cosas. Así, así. Así es bueno. Ok. Cora. Como, que digan así. Como este. Que es pimentón. Pimienta. Black pepper. Y que nomás diga black pepper, ingrediente, eso es todo. Nomás que diga sí, está bien. Bueno, check, está bueno para ti. Como esto, bueno para ti, este te lo recomiendo. Es puro ajo. No dice otras cosas. Ya si hiciera si que tiene sal, que este que el otro, entonces bótalo. No lo uses, no lo consumas. I recommend this one. Garlic. Well, it doesn't have to be this brand, but yeah, as long as it doesn't say other stuff added, then you're good. But if it says other things added, then don't eat it. 
or don't consume it. Again, this one is good. This is onion, and the only ingredient is onion right here. Onion, and you're good to go. You're good. This is good. Oh, Flavor God is a good brand. I recommend this. This is a must, or you can just buy your seasoning just like this in bulk. Muestas, las puedes comprar. Si no quieres comprar estas online, pero les recomiendo que compren. Onions, garlic, sea salt. Sea salt is a good and must thing you should consume. Sea salt. If it's Himalayan, perfect too. I'll use the one we use. I'll insert a picture right here of the Himalaya salt. And these are the ingredients right here. And that's what you want to check for. Again, here I have more of my flavored God seasonings. And they're all good. This is pizza. This one is garlic lovers because my mom loves garlic and I need to order more. Oh, this one's so good. And carne asada. And basically steak. This one's good. This is my favorite. And mom will start of it. So those are my go-to seasonings. If you want to know more or if you want to know more, just comment down below and I'll answer your questions. Or DM me on my Instagram, official Mary Sosa. I'll leave it right here. Yeah, DM me if you have any um, questions or anything. All oh, guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching till the end. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also share my videos. And also don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. What are you waiting for? Subscribe, right? It's free. Go ahead and subscribe. Click the button. Click the button. It'll make me happy. Happy guys. Next Thursday. Don't forget to stay safe. Stay safe and stay safe and be healthy. And thrive for better. And that's all. Have to go. Bye guys. See you next time. Adios. Los veo para la próxima.